Hi guys, Todd Durkin here at Fitness Quest 10 in San Diego, California. And uh, this is a special shout out to my friends and family and fellow fitness colleagues back on the East Coast. Being a, uh, a Jersey guy, uh, being a supporter of all the folks back on the East Coast, I know this past week has been a tremendously challenging and tough one uh, with everything that's happened with Hurricane Sandy and the superstorm that's devastated the entire eastern seaboard. And I've been thinking uh, long and hard about this, of even things I can do to give back and, and what we can do to give back as, a, as an industry. Um, and one thing I realize is that um, greatness is often in, inspired by adversity. We have a lot of adversity right now as a, as a country and as a community. Greatness is inspired by adversity. And um, I'm going to ask you as you watch this to think about what you can do um, to overcome some serious challenges and obstacles right now that are way bigger than you think you probably had before this event on Monday where your family, your friends, your, your clients, your members, where you're at right now with business. This, this community, this industry needs us trainers more than ever right now. And you can do something about it. You. Regardless of your title, regardless how long that you've been in this industry, your passion, your heart, your smarts, and everything else, your sheer effort is going to make a big difference. One by one, day by day, month by month. It's going to take a lot of effort. And I can tell you this, the training community can make an absolutely monumental, impactful difference if we each choose to step up and do something. Matter of fact, I want to introduce you to someone right now that's impacted by uh, this hurricane. Frank, come on in. This is Frank Pooker, Fitness One to One. He's, in, he's from Roseland, New Jersey. He's, he's displaced out here for the past week because we had a mastermind event and uh, he's been stuck. He hasn't been able to fly home. His family's back there. His business is, well, his business has power turned on now uh, where most people don't. Millions of people back east still don't have power. Um, and when I talk about doing something, do something to make a difference, Frank, I know even starting today, it started to make a difference in his community. Frank, what have you done in the Roseland community uh, to make a difference to the trainers and as well as the, the everyday folk that are without power and, and, and are really don't know what they're doing right now? Well, as fitness professionals, we all serve a purpose much greater than ourselves. So what I did today is I reached out to several other studios in our area that weren't fortunate enough to have power and I've invited them into Fitness One to One as their home base until their facilities are operational. But I also reached out to some of our neighboring businesses. Perhaps they need a place to charge their iPhones. Perhaps they need a warm shower or you know, some place where they can just kind of get a little sanctuary while they're being displaced from their homes. But the bottom line is we could all do something and it's important that we do take action. Always do your best. Do what you can. I like that. No, thank you. You know, guys, in this industry, sometimes we get caught up in the jargon of, you know, what we are. We train at a certain health club or uh, a studio or we're a CrossFit affiliate and we get caught up in, in all of those words. doesn't really make a difference right now. What makes a difference is the training communities that we come together. What Frank is doing is an example of what we're going to have to do in the next few months to really come together and to rise up to greatness. Because Someone's got to lead, right? Someone's got to make a difference, and, and it's, it's your turn. It's our turn as a training community to do that. What I have done is created a little a group page on Facebook, okay? NJ Trainers Connect. NJ Trainers Connect, if you go to that. You do not need to be from New Jersey to do that. Being from New Jersey, I did NJ. We say in Jersey, Jersey strong. It's going to be important to stay Jersey strong through this very, very challenging time of our careers and lives, something we're going to remember forever. So do me a favor. Go to NJ Trainers Connect and share what you're going to do to be great over the next few weeks, days, and even months so that you can make a difference. It might be a competitor three, four, five minutes or miles away from your studio. Maybe you open up your arms and say, come train at my place. Come take a shower, have your clients come over. It's okay. For the next four weeks, eight weeks, we're going to have to come together and embrace. Comment? Guys, what makes a difference is making a difference. So do your best. Absolutely. Amen to that. So go to that little group page there, NJ Trainers Connect. Share, encourage, support, motivate. This is where we're going to come together. I will do my best to support you through that page as well on tips of how you can possibly uh, co-mingle and work so that we can continue to impact people physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Guys, the great ones rise up in times of adversity, times of challenge, in times of strife. And that time is now. 
So step up and do something. Go to that Facebook group. I look forward to seeing you there. And guys, remember, my thoughts, our thoughts, and prayers are with you in this tremendously challenging time. But we will rise up and we will remain Jersey strong. Peace and God bless, guys.